Today's video is on the problems related to the equivalent formulas and this topic is from mathematical logics. Now in this video I am going to solve each and every problem using equivalent formulas. There are around 10 equivalent formulas which I have taught you in my previous video. Please definitely it will be very useful if you go through that video first of all and then next enter into this one. So now we are going to use only the formulas and not the truth value tables. So now we have to show that P implies Q implies R which is equivalent to P and Q implies R. So I'll show you the, all the 10 formulas here once. First one is idempotent law, identity law, domination law, negation law. This one is commutative law, associative law, distributive law, de Morgan's law, absorption law, and double negation law. So these are the formulas which I'm going to use to solve this without using the truth value tables. So as these are very complicated, I made it simplified, bringing you each and every formula in front of you. See, first of all, we have to show that P implies Q implies R. So we have to take this LHS part and we have to show RHS part. I am taking this one that is P implies, this is Q implies R. Clear? And now there is a formula that if P implies Q, see here if p implies q so this value is equivalent to negation p or q so instead of this i can write this one so here as you consider this for some time as q this is p implies q and now i am bringing this in terms of see here i am bringing this in in terms of this is negation p or so this whole part is q that is q implies r so in between this one, so again we have implication here. So Q implies R is equivalent to, see here, negation Q or R. So I am slightly writing this in terms of this value will be negation P or this is negation Q or R. And now I am going to use the associative law as associative law states that, see here, P or Q or R. So, can be written as P or Q or R. So, what is this? Associative law. Associative law. According to the associative law, I am changing these brackets to the first two. And now, this value becomes negation P or negation Q. This is or R. And now, taking this negation outside. So, taking negation outside means we have to apply de Morgan's law. So, this is de Morgan's law. So please go through this de Morgan's law as this is very simple. See here negation P or negation Q. So if I take negation from these two outside this or will become and. See here if I take negation outside this or will become and. So this is the formula which I am going to apply here. So if I take negation from both then this or will become and clear so again I'm, I need this type of formula see here this is negation P or Q can be written as P implies Q see here here also in place of negation P or some here it is a uh, Q then we can write this in the form of P implies Q see here the same formula P implies Q is equal to negation P or Q so here Negation P or R can be written as, see here this is only implies. So this can be written as negation P or Q can be written as P implies Q. So this can be written as this whole part is P and this whole part is R. So this is P implies Q is nothing but negation P or R. Clear? So this is what it is asked and this is what it is in RHS. So we got the both the sides and both the relations are equal. So I have started from P implies, see here, this is P implies Q implies R. So this statement is equivalent to this is P and Q implies R. Clear? So I have shown you all the 10 formulas and without using the truth table, I have shown the equivalence between these two relations. The first of all, I have taken this relation that is P implies Q implies R. So it is very clear that P implies Q is nothing but negation P or R. The first one we have to take the negation from this or the second term here. And again we have implication here. So negation you have to take and keep or R. 
and next one according to the associative law as these two are of same symbols so we can shift the brackets so i am shifting the brackets to the first two terms and i am letting r outside so first one this is de morgan's law if i apply if i take negation from these two terms out this or will become and see here very clear this or disjunction will become conjunction and again there is negation for the first time or r so this can be written in terms of implication as p and q implies r clear so these two are equivalent statements using the equivalent formulas without using the truth tables is it very clear so if you learn all the 10 formulas you can solve any problem of any kind it will be very easy so please go through my previous videos also related to these formulas and the next problem is problem related to the equivalence formula is negation p and negation q and r or q and r or p and r which is equal to r so here our lhs part is very lengthy so from here to here and L RHS part is only simply R. So we have to take the whole term here and we have to apply each and every formula here. That is the first one is negation P or sorry and negation Q and R. Next one. So this is the whole bracket and next one Q and R or this is P and R. First thing here is so if you observe this one so r is for these two so r is distributed to q and r is distributed to p as well so i am going to use the distributive law according to the distributive law if i apply distributive law i can take r outside so here i am taking that is p and this is negation q and r or See here, from these two, I am taking Q. See here, in between there is or here. So, P, Q or P. And there is a symbol and here in front of, in front of R. So, there is and here. So, I am taking this and R outside. So, this is and R outside. As R is distributed to Q as well as R is distributed to P. Clear. After applying this one, so what I have to do? So, again, I need associative law. So, as this is and and this is and, I am applying associative law for this. If I apply associative law here, as they are, these two symbols are equal, as these two symbols are equal, if I apply associative law, what happens? So, I can take these two brackets and I can put to the front two. The first one is negation P and negation Q and r or so this one i am using accommodative law so here i am applying which with formula commutative law as commutative law everybody knows according to the commutative laws a into b is equal to b into a here q or p is equal to p or q so i am writing p or q so this is p or q and this one is an r clear and next one so there is negation for these two so according to our negation so what we have to do so we have to take this de morgan's law so if i take negation from outside so this or will become and so if i take negation outside so this and will become or so simply i am using the de morgan's law for this if i apply this de morgan's law For these two, see what happens here. So, I am taking negation outside. So, if I take negation outside, this and will become or. Clear? And r or. So, here if I start this one, p or q and r. So, if you observe properly, this and r and r are distributed to this term as well as this term. So, what we have to do? So, according to our distribution law, according to our distribution law as r is distributed so if i apply distribution law i am taking an r outside so this will become negation of p or q or this is p or q so from these two terms from these two terms if i take an r outside 
as r is distributed to this term here and r is distributed to this term here so i have applied the distributive law and the next thing here is negation of p or q or p or q so i am using the this one which one which formula I have to apply so negation law so if i apply the negation law here negation p or p is equivalent to true here so negation p or p is equivalent to true so this value is negation law i am applying here so if i apply negation law what does this negation law states that negation p or p is equivalent to true here so this is the law which i am going to here in place of p we have p or q and therefore this is true and r so according to true and r so which is equal to r so we got the final answer as r as we got lhs so i have started from here rhs and i got lhs therefore therefore i am writing the whole statement as negation p and this is negation q and r or this is q and r or this is p and r which is equal to r so this is how we have to solve and clearly each and every step i'll explain you there are only 10 formulas equivalent formulas so if you go through those formulas it will be very easy for solving any kind of problem see here this is the question given so we have to take lhs part after taking lhs part so as these symbols are equal so r is distributed to this uh, bracket and this bracket so i have uh, applied distributed law and i have taken r outside and next one in this step so they are end the same symbols so i have shifted this bracket to first bracket as using associative law so here again negation symbol is there so i have to take negation outside so if i take negation outside this un will become or as there are two r r's here and r and r and r so distribution is done between two these two brackets i have taken use i have used this distribution law and taken and r outside so again there is a negation law negation law implies that negation p or p which is equivalent to true so this bracket is true and, and r so which is equal to r so this is nothing but the rhs value so i have taken lhs and i have shown you the rhs and this is how we have to solve this using all the equivalent formulas these are the most important questions so these are the problems i have taken from the previous question paper and i've solved and i've shown you please your duty is to practice pass it on to your friends share it with your friends and thank you for spending so much of time with me and i'll be uploading so many problems related to these series those are also from the previous question papers if you avail those if you um, practice definitely you can score more in, in your next exam and thank you so much for watching and please go through my next video also it will be uploaded very soon thank you so much